what is going on familia welcome back to the channel if you are new around these parts hello thank you so 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 much for clicking i'm anna and on this channel we budget plan and love us some sticky paper in today's video i'm back with another memory plan with me for the week of april 18th and this is a special one friends for many reasons <laughs> But we'll get into that in a sec. Let's start with the kit I'm using. So I'm using the Together kit from Scorpio Prince Co. This was a collab with Caress Press. So if you guys maybe have this kit and see some boxes in it that are not in your kit, you are not losing your mind. I actually have both the kits from Scorpio Prince Co. and Caress Press. And I kind of mixed and matched the boxes how I wanted them. So... If you guys have seen this kit before, you know there's like 1,001 um, fashion peeps in this in this kit. And I wanted to use as many of them as possible, but I didn't want to go like too extender crazy because I feel like I've been using extenders quite a bit. I'm using, I'm still using them this week, but I'm also using them next week. I use them the week before. So I'm just trying to limit them so that my planner doesn't get super, super chunky. I am going to try the like hack that I've seen other people do where they just use, instead of using the full extender, they like cut a piece of it off. So I'm going to be trying that, I hope, <laughs> in the near future. Um, but I have been using the full extender. So I don't use extenders that often, to be honest. This just happens to be a month of extenders. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to use 55,000 extenders. And I was like, okay, Sorry, I thought I heard something in my house. Y'all know when you're home alone and you hear any little thing and you're like, uh-oh, I'm about to die. That is me. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't want to use a ton of extenders. So I ended up pulling in um, some elements of the Caress Press full boxes. Most of like the functionals and everything else were from SPC, but I pulled in some of the Caress Press full boxes. So there's a box with a screen that I'm going to put in the top left hand cor corner that has four of the girls. So that took care of quite a few of them so that I can incorporate some other ones in there. So like that's the method to my madness, basically. I wanted to get as many girls in there represented without having to use too many extenders. So that is that. Um, I also pulled in some of the more lighter tones from Caress Press. Like I just, I felt like the Scribble Prince Co. kit is a little more like dim or like, I don't know if dim is the word. What is the word I'm thinking? Like subdued, I guess. And the like pinks in the Caress Press kit um, and some of the whites and things like that kind of help break up that um, more like subdued color. So I tried to pull in some of those where I could. I did pair this with matte bronze, which I'm so excited about because I feel like for someone who loves matte bronze so often, I really haven't used it that much lately, especially. I think it's the first time, this might be the first time I'm using it this year, which is kind of insane because I have so many matte bronze foil bundles you guys like so many um so the one i paired it with is the sparkle format from spc and it's actually the one that came with the january mystery which i think was my last mystery from spc um and i loved obviously it was matte bronze so i loved the foil bundle and i kept it it came with some really cute um full box overlay quotes so i used some of those that was a birthday kit the january mystery kit so i did pull in birthday quote box overlays because this leads me into my next point I feel like that was the longest preamble ever but <laughs> because uh this week is actually Katerina's uh birthday Katerina the narcoleptic planner here on YouTube and IG I'll have all her stuff linked down below her birthday is the 19th um and even though her birthday is not this week Stephanie of Geeky Planning also has an April birthday and it's I believe the 25th I think is what she told me so she's she just missed this week because this week ends on the 24th but yeah I just wanted to kind of use this kit as a celebration of of course them and their birthdays because they're probably I guess the people I'm the closest to within the community but it really is just a celebration of the planning community in general and all of the wonderful things that have come from this channel and the connections I've made with you guys and I'm just so shook every day shook 
<laughs> that these relationships have come from this wild idea to start a YouTube channel. So I'm eternally grateful. Thank you so much for all of you who watch and like and comment and share and say any positive thing ever. It's always, it's always got me shook. <laughs> It, it's that it's not something like you get used to like it's every time I hear anything remotely positive about the channel it's like oh my god no really you like it no <laughs> it's like that weird like I should accept this compliment but also like oh my god really um so <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense but all that to say thank you so 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 much for all of the support and encouragement y'all are the best okay um let's see what am I even doing we're on the base still okay I I was thinking about doing a planner tag because you know we're celebrating the planner community but I feel like I should talk through the plans because uh this is when my vacation started it started towards the tail end of this week so really the good good stuff isn't going to be until the tail end but I feel like even if I started talking through plans early, I'll, I'll probably catch up to myself because I have a, a few things <laughs> as we get towards the end and some stories and updates. So I think this is a good week to kind of talk through uh, some of the day by day and the stickers and stuff. So I will be doing that. I'm hoping y'all still enjoy because I feel like I have enough stories in between to kind of break it up so it doesn't sound too monotonous for y'all. But Lego. Okay, before I get started with that though, quick channel update for y'all. I think what I'm going to do is do two to three videos a week. Um, I've been pretty consistently, at least before the last month, doing three videos a week. So Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday is typically my like quote unquote upload schedule. I think what I'm going to do is do two to three and it's just going to depend on like what kind of content should be going out and also like what my time is looking like that week. So just so y'all know, that's what it's going to be. Um, and I think I'm going to stick to Tuesday, Thursday will be my video days and Sunday will kind of be like a bonus, not a bonus, but Sunday will be like, sometimes there's videos on Sunday, sometimes there's not. So this past Sunday, you guys didn't see a video. Um, you probably will see one this upcoming Sunday though. This is in real time. By the time you guys see this, it probably will be that Sunday that I'm referring to. So um, this will probably be what goes live that day. So anyways, anyways. OK, um, so I think I'm just going to like summarize some of the things that happened just because I know I'm not in the day by day yet. Um, but if I wait, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of time, although this video is a little bit longer. So we'll see. Um, we're going to wing it. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. You know, how we usually do. Okay, so this week was vacation week. Y'all, on Monday, let me tell you, my boyfriend never gets sick, y'all. Like, n never. And if he does get sick, which is rare, he'll be sick for like two days and then he'll be perfectly fine. It's actually quite frustrating for someone who's sick for like three weeks <laughs> before they can recover. He just takes like two, three days tops and he's great. Well... He was sick on, he started kind of like being sniffly the weekend before, like this week I'm planning for, but it wasn't really any big deal. Like I felt like it was just like the season's changing or maybe allergies. But then on this Monday, you guys, he sounded like a frog, like he sounded terrible. <laughs> and I felt, I felt so bad, first of all, because homeboy never gets sick. And like, of course, on vacation week, he's like dying. So I'm like, OK, here we are. So I have all this anxiety because I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm worried, of course, about the Rona, freaking Rona out here ruining lives. So I'm like, oh, no, like, what are we going to do if it is that? Luckily, it was not the Rona, not the Rona, friends. So we're good there. But he was super sick. I think it was just like a cold, honestly. So... The poor thing is like dying and I'm just sitting there like I have to go on this vacation bro. So I'm gonna need you to like <laughs> I need you to get it together. I'm terrible y'all. Um, but that was a thing. And then <laughs> our our house you guys because he was not having it too. He was about to go on this vacation regardless. So our house was basically a small pharmacy like 
when I tell you we had all of the meds, we had all of the meds. I'm like, how many things are you getting? He's like, just what I need to get better. I'm like, our kitchen table's full of meds, bro. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> But I, I can't knock it because I was like, I need you to get better too. So that was loads of fun. Uh, luckily, he ended up being fine by the time we went on vacation. Not fine, but like very much, pretty much 100%. I will say like 80%. Um, and it wasn't the Rona. So we just kind of kept our masks on because obviously we still don't want to spread the germs to anyone. And, you know, tried to be as safe as possible throughout the trip. But that was a thing y'all and it was a stressful thing um and then you guys I put this on the bottom of Tuesday I know you guys are not seeing the plans yet but I have been this is totally unrelated and random but I have been obsessed with <laughs> don't laugh y'all I've been obsessed with AS ASMR specifically with soap A ASMR I don't know if you guys have seen like the soap cutting or like the carvings Tell me why I am, well, I was, I'm, I feel like it was a phase and I've gone through it. I still watch it, but not as much as during this week. I think I was just anxious because I don't like flying too. So I was really trying to find ways to calm the F down. And I was obsessed with these damn soap ASMR videos. If you guys know, let me know down below in the comments, because I cannot be the only one. Like some of these videos have millions of views, so I cannot be the only one. But I love them. I feel like that and like I find cash counting to be very like ASMR like. I feel like there's not that many of those videos like specifically for ASMR. But I love hearing that sound. I also love hearing water like that's super calming. So sometimes I'll play like um, the like ambient like ocean noises. Oh, it's so relaxing to me. Oh my gosh. It's the best. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys use this. I know sometimes people use it to like study or to sleep. So let me know if you guys use any of those like ASMR techniques to do that stuff. Um, and Tuesday the 19th was Kat's birthday. So happy belated birthday, friend. Um, I hope you had a great day. And that was pretty much Tuesday. There was like some work trash, like basura going on, but it's a moot point now because it's been fixed. So I'm not even not even going to get into it. But I do really love the, <laughs> you guys will see in a bit. I used the Ew Cat from Fox and Cactus on Tuesday. Y'all, the best. Fox and Cactus has some of the most fun stickers. That's all I'm going to say. Like her stickers are a mood. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> Moving right along. Um, let's see. Wednesday. Wednesday didn't really have any crazy highlights. It was the last work day for me, so that was very exciting. I also had, like, I kind of had interviews this week. I don't want to get too much into them because there's a lot in flux, but I promise I will share more in the future. <laughs> If I have anything relevant to share from those interviews. But um, otherwise, Wednesday was pretty uneventful. Um, Thursday, I was off. So I went to get my nails did. Those are the white nails you guys are seeing right now. And then um, this was the day Tasha from Pink Diamond Planner Co. announced her PR team, like, officially. And that was super exciting. Thank you to everyone that reached out and, like, congratulated me or shared it. Um, Y'all are the best. Uh, and it was so sweet to see all those, um, all that support. So thank you so much. I'm so excited to be on the PR team, as you guys well know. So pumped for that. Um, and you can use Anna 15 to save 15% off your order and get my freebie, which is super cute. I might pop in a picture again here so you guys can see in case you missed it during my other videos, but super excited to be on the Pink Diamond Planner PR team for sure. Okay. And then Friday was a packing day. I did have to take my mom to an appointment, which y'all stressful, just pray for my fam. Just send a little prayer up or send good vibes, whatever it is that you do, because um, it's stressful over here. That's all I'm going to say. But Friday was mostly packing, um, which y'all, I don't know if there's anyone else out there that despises packing more than your girl. Like, I hate packing. 
<laughs> and unpacking. It's just not fun. Um, and every time, every time I do it though, and it's done, I'm like, okay, that wasn't that bad. But like the lead up to it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's like pulling teeth. Uh, so I definitely procrastinated that to the very last minute. We flew out on Saturday. Um, and I really love, I'm not at Saturday yet, but I really love the, um, I used a little whimsical cat studio girl at the airport, like, uh, sleeping. And I think that's one of my favorite stickers ever. Um, you guys will see that at the top of Saturday in a bit. So, but yeah, so we flew for like just under six hours to get there. It was definitely a long flight. I feel like I did pretty good because my friend recommended these like vitamins that help with like calming your nerves, like all natural, which is what I wanted. Um, and I thought they worked. I don't know if it was like a placebo effect, but I did feel better with them. So I don't know. Um, so it wasn't too bad. I did use the flight to catch up on Moon Knight. So I finally watched Moon Knight, you guys. <sighs> Let's see. I It definitely has picked up like the last two episodes right now in real time uh the finale is this week so it ha it's not out yet so the very last episode so second to last episode i guess i should say uh like was when i was most intrigued i would say the last two episodes had me the most intrigued i think it just started slow for me i will say the actor who of course i don't know his name but i'll try to put it in here now <laughs> because I'm terrible but he is phenomenal the way he plays that character and the complexities of that character amazing um and I also really appreciate about this series is what I really appreciate about this series I should say is how it takes such a it gives you such a human look at mental health and those struggles um and it just really kind of puts it in perspective at least for me it just felt like, wow, if I was living this, this would be so scary to me. Um, and I think we need that. I think we need more of that. So I was actually really glad to see, like, Marvel that's, you know, I think reaches so many audiences doing it on on kind of a large, larger scale with, with the show. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> but that was really great to see. So yeah, so we landed in the evening time over there. I think it was like seven or so. I saw my bestie. We actually stayed with him. So that was amazing. Um, seeing him is always amazing. Uh, we went to eat, which it wasn't that great to be honest, but it was also a Saturday night. So I feel like in the restaurant industry, I feel like it's so understaffed that I get it. Um, but it's all good. I was so happy to be there. I really didn't care. <laughs> and then we went back to his apartment, which is like, y'all, he lives in like a luxury apartment. Like we thought we were staying at a luxury hotel. I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, what is this life that you live that I very clearly do not? <laughs> so um, we caught up a little bit, but we were exhausted. So we just passed out. And then um, Sunday was Universal Day, which was really exciting. So we went to Universal and Disney. The Disney trip, um, like the Disney park stuff, you'll hear in next week's plan with me. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss out on that. But um, we went to Universal Studios. We had breakfast at the Three Broomsticks, which is a restaurant in Universal, if you guys are unfamiliar, in the Harry Potter kind of area. I think it's in Hogsmeade for Disneyland. Um, so we had breakfast there. There was like no one in there, you guys, which is unheard of in the Florida Universal. Like I've been to that one and it's always popping in that area. And it was like I could walk. It wasn't super crowded. That part was amazing. So we had breakfast there, which was pretty good. And then we just kind of explored. I went on um, I went on Transformers, which is like a motion simulator ride, which was really fun. Um, we did Life of Pets, which isn't a ride that we have in Florida. Uh, I've been to the Florida parks way more often. This is the first time I'm going to the, to the uh, I was going to say LA, but the Cali parks. Um, so yeah, so we did the Pets ride, which isn't in Florida, which was cute. The queue is so cute for that ride. It's adorable. Um, and it's based off the Secret Life of Pets movie. And then, y'all, I got on the Jurassic World ride. 
because, all right, some context. Your girl is not a thrill ride seeker. Like, I pretty much avoid the thrill rides. <laughs> but I was like, all right, this is a pretty tame ride. And there's, except for the one massive drop at the end. But I'm like, one drop? I can handle one drop. Bro, when I tell you my soul left my body, <laughs> it left. It vacated my body when that drop part came. <laughs> It was it was still a ton of fun, of course, and it's like a it's a water ride, so we got wet and it was hot, so it was nice. I was like, oh, this is this kind of nice. But when I tell you my soul left my body, I'm not playing. Like I don't know who I think I am. <laughs> not made for me, y'all. Not made for me. Um, so we did that, and we did. They have like a studio tour because um. There are like active studios filming there. So there's a studio tour. It encompasses a couple of rides, neither of which are all that great, honestly. But the studio tour was pretty cool. I feel like overall Universal in Florida is better. Um, the Hollywood one only has the one park. And it doesn't have my favorite Harry Potter ride, which is Gringotts. It just has the Forbidden Journey one, which I actually don't like. So <laughs> I was very sad about that. But um, it was still fun and it has some great scenic views uh, there. And I think the city walk, which is like the dining shopping um, like extension of Universal, I think is so much better in Hollywood than it is in Florida. So I don't know, just my opinion. <laughs> if you've been to both, let me know what you think down below. But that was my opinion on that. Um, we had, I think we had dinner. Yeah, we had dinner at Bubba Gump, which I didn't really expect much. Like, we were just like, well, let's just eat wherever. But they have this shrimp, like, I guess dish. It's just shrimp, honestly. But it's like a Cajun or like a garlic type shrimp. And my friend got it with like a combo of both. Y'all, tell me why that shrimp was so good. So good. Like, your girl is not super into seafood, but it was so good. Um, and I tried... I tried a po' boy there for the first time and it was so good. So I got like my seafood on, which is rare, but I was craving it. So it's okay. <laughs> and then we also stopped at Voodoo Donuts there, which y'all the best, like the highlight of Universal, I think was Bubba Gump, <laughs> that freaking shrimp and those Voodoo Donuts. They're so good. Um, both places are also in Florida. So, um, you know, if y'all have been to that one. It's the same. But yeah, I loved those so much. And that was pretty much my day at Universal. So that is it, you guys. Here I am just writing through some of the plans. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you guys have been to Universal, either in Florida or Hollywood, and what your favorite part is if you've been. Um, yeah, I think overall Universal in Florida is better, but I did definitely enjoy parts of Universal in Hollywood. So yeah. Um, I'm trying to work on doing like a little compilation video photo thing of the trip that I can show on the channel. I did pick up some things from Disney. Um, so I'm thinking about doing a Disney haul. It's probably going to be short. I didn't pick up like that much stuff. Um, but I thought I could combo that with some of the pics and maybe you know, post that for you guys. If you guys want to see it, let me know down below. But I thought that would be a fun way to kind of share a little bit more with you guys about it. Obviously, you'll hear more about the Disney part of the trip um, in next week's plan with me, which is when we went. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Be sure to check out all of the lovely people that I mentioned in this video. Go show them some love. Tell them I sent you. Just shower them with love. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more planning and budgeting content from your girl. I will go ahead and finish it out here with a little bit of music and I will see you guys real, real soon. Bye.